Christ, there's a reason why I'm gonna go ahead and start doing these weekly videos. Listen, topics, they're getting dry. I can barely get myself to care about this narrator stuff anymore because I read this apology that he made because he made an apology and it's so laughably bad and it's so... It's such a downer because basically the apology or response, whatever, it was mainly like an apology to Riley who I believe is, it's weird because didn't he just insult them the day prior? That's weird. Uh, you know, the Google Doc was never addressed uh, in any of this. Narrator never addressed a Google document. Narrator uh, had, they stated in, their th in the beginning paragraph, I believe, that he doesn't feel any attraction uh, to, to children, which is good. That's what he stated, but he never went into detail to debunk or even address the uh, accusations made against him about him sexting, you know, well, like a 13 year old, right? You never address that for whatever reason. Uh, so the problem with that is it shows that he's not willing to address it. <laughs> he's not even willing to say no to it, right? He's just completely overlooking that and that's kind of a big allegation put on someone. So I think that somebody that uh, would want to clear that up, right? You know, he would want to say, oh, by the way, that's false. What the hell? You know, I would think that that would be the first thing that he can say. You know, just say, no, it's it's not true. Like, you know, uh, address it, uh, even, even correct it if he wanted to go the extra mile. But even just saying no, that it ain't true, would have been better than just, for some reason, again, not addressing it which is weird in fact this whole thing is mainly just just made up of riley and and narrator saying he's going to be a better person to people in the future and then he's going to take some time away to uh to you know reflect blah 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 kind of gave me a lot of mini lad vibes in the in the response he's just like i'm gonna better myself i'm sorry you have to see this side of me yada 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 uh that's you know <laughs> that kind of crap and it, it was, again, never once addressed the allegations, the big ones that were made against him that you would think he would want to debunk or at least say, nah, nah, mate, this ain't it. If you want to believe it, go for it. Like, personally, I understand the mentality of I don't have to debunk bullshit, right? I get that. But I could at the very least address it and be like, this ain't it, mate. You want to believe that? Go for it, right? But he didn't even do that, which confuses me. Right, and we've seen narrator. If we want to go back to his behavioral uh, patterns, right, we've seen that he has no problem wasting people's time for over an hour to go ahead and paint the picture perfect uh, story for you guys. So it's not a matter of him, I think, not being bothered or not being able to give a fuck enough to, you know, go ahead and explain himself. I think it's more like, well, I better not touch this subject or else I'm gonna get burned, right? That's why he didn't address it. One other thing I want to put a kind of spotlight on is for some reason nobody seems to give a damn about this. While the pyro thing was a hot topic and it was because of Ivory who was 15 who turned 16 and Pyro was 19 and again the age of consent to being in Pyro's state or <laughs> Ivory state rather and Pyro's you know the UK is, is 16, which would have been perfectly legal. People made a big conundrum out of that, but yet the Carson thing, which was a 19 to 17 year old age gap, people seemed to try to make a big deal out of that. And it just kind of fell flat for that reason. But again, it's worth noting that no, like people were very outraged about the pyro thing, right? But but the, the, this, and they got so invested in that, in that drama. But for this drama, it's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna look at it for a second and just dismiss it completely. And that's what uh, one commentator in particular did, and that was Nicholas DiOrio. As he looked over the Google document, he couldn't be bothered. He doesn't seem to give a shit at all. He couldn't be bothered to even just read the whole thing. He uh, entered it completely dismissing <laughs> most of it. Uh, almost to a, to a point, uh, devaluing it by saying, Oh, this person can't even get their uh, mind straight on what they're saying or whatever. And it was in reference to the to the testimonies of the people against the narrator. So that's not to say he's defending narrator, it's just weird that for some reason this drama, right, isn't isn't really getting the attention 
right? When it's literally the accusation in question, which narrator does not even want to clarify or say, no, this didn't happen, is a narrator at 18 sex to a 13 year old and nobody wants to, to talk about that. Nobody in the in the commentary community seems to, you know, make a big deal out of that. I guess it doesn't pique their interest, right? I guess it's not gonna make the big bucks and I guess they don't have a personal involvement in it, right? So this kind of just goes to show where I'm saying, bro, if it's gonna get you, like, if some drama topic or whatever gives you an incentive to go all out, like if that's where the money is gonna be or if that's where the following you're gonna get lands, right, or you have a personal investment in it for some reason, you'll be more keen on fixating on it and trying to play detective and whatever, right? That's what I said from the get-go, you know, even regarding me, I'm like, well, algorithm spikes helping, you know, all that good stuff, and I also think that <laughs> Pyro's getting the, the short end of the stick here, and I also do love playing Devil's Advocate because it's quite a challenge sometimes. Sometimes people are just dumb and it's too easy. Uh, so overall, yeah, it's just very weird that the commentary peeps uh, seem to, at this point in time, have better things to do. Especially Keemstar as well. Keemstar is, you know, on Twitter bitching, I need a drama, I need a drama. Well, there's a drama right here that you could look into, but I guess you don't want to look into it. Uh, the only quote-unquote good thing, I mean, you know, benefit of the doubt I could give them is that they just want the, the Carson thing to die off. And the more we talk about narrator, I guess the more the drama lives on, question mark. So if that's the case, then all right. That's like, you know, giving benefit of the doubt to these people. And not giving them the benefit of the doubt. It just seems like there's no interest in them to cover this shit. It's not going to get them more views. It's not going to get them more money. It's not going to get them a bigger following. It might get things to be messy. It's just a big pattern of inconsistency from my point of view. I mean, there could be a reason. I'm not sure. But that's just how it looks like to me, ladies and gentlemen. And I've seen quite a few of you also on Twitter be discussing this and saying, well, it's kind of weird that you guys aren't getting involved in this. In fact, there was one person in particular that uh, said something of Nick. He was caught, or the allegation is that narrator was sexting a 13-year-old while he was 18. And Nicholas DiOrio said, that's not what I'm addressing in my tweet. Right, uh, okay, but like, you know, it, it kind of seems like that's some important uh, little bits of details that you don't want to get into or you, you want to overlook for some reason, right? I'm just pointing it out. It's weird. It's weird that people don't want to focus on this. It's, it's just, you know, it's like the, the whole, oh, uh -huh. you know, I've seen mysteriously disappear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, oh no, it was totally, is he, he, he croaked himself, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's the kind of weird it is, right? It's like, alright buds, like, you know, this doesn't really ring consistency, but maybe you, you guys just can't be fucked to do this. I mean, you just don't want to. Uh, maybe you've got better things to do. Again, it just doesn't seem like you're uh, heavily invested in this, which supports the claim that, you know, your moral compasses aren't too high up there unless it piques your interest, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, just let people be aware that you guys aren't going to go ahead and go to bat for every little thing that is, you know, morally right. After all, this is the fucking internet. What even is morally right in the world? They have a bunch of people fabricating evidence, misrepresenting others just to damage their character because they don't even like who the person is, right? We have uh, people like Prison Maid Luke, a 20-year-old plus man, going ahead making slanderous videos on a teenager. A 16 year old because he heard that 16 year old was gonna make a video on him and he wanted to get the head start Luke wanted to get the head start in discrediting someone this is something I'll be going over and I'll be going over other topics I'm gonna be putting them together there's a lot of interesting things that I feel like I can get out to you guys and if I just put a little bit of effort into it I think the points will come out clearer I think it would be a more enjoyable experience for you to you know, realize that I'm not some schizophrenic uh, Alex Jones wannabe over here <laughs> actually makes some valid points. There are a lot of fallacies that are used in the commentary that you would, you know, just uh, overlook. Uh, you know, there's a lot of propaganda thrown uh, by, you know, forums, you know, a people as a whole painting those narratives. Like, again, like I mentioned, uh, fallacies, poisoning the well fallacies, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, there's quite a bit we can dig into, and I just can't do daily uploads. I, I'm losing the passion to just find, like, I couldn't even make a Bell Delphine video because I didn't give a shit, 
right? It's like, oh, Rebzilla, or one of the reps, whoever the fuck it was, oh, trying to ask people if they agree that this was, you know, Bell cosplaying as a child or not. And here we go, once again, with the fucking subjects of, all oh, children and then, you know, whatever the fuck. It's just, it's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying that this is the new drama slash commentary community it always has to be a fucking allegation of pedophilia for it to get any clicks for it to get any traction for it to it's your go-to thing now you know do you remember the good old days of leafy do you remember the good old days of pyro even you know old school pyro old school pyro and leafy fighting each other over something as trivial as you're copying my style or whatever or even fucking keemstar when he was just just being keemstar I uh, kind of missed those times. They were simpler times. They were better times. And they were not just retarded. <laughs> so, once again, I think this whole situation as a whole, the narrator's apology, the narrator doing what he did in the first place, the commentary, people completely neglecting this, just not even looking at it and getting upset whenever you question and press them on it. Uh, everything as it's in luke <laughs> luke's very presence and mentioned in this fucking video it can all be summed up with one word retarded <laughs>